how to improve your English in the 21st century? That's right, the 21st century, because we're in 2020. And one of the ways that you can improve your English is by understanding the five C's of learning. Now, in a previous video, I talked about three of those five C's. Collaboration, communication, and creativity. If you have not seen that video, then I will attach it below in the comment section, the link. But in this video, I want to give you the two remaining C's that I think are extremely important. Are you ready? The first C is citizenship. What does that mean? It basically means, listen, we live in a world with 7 billion people, so citizenship is to think of yourself in relationship to every different other human being. Citizenship, what can you do to promote learning, growth in your environment, in your city, in your country, and also throughout the world? Or another way of saying that is think globally and act locally. Now, with respect to citizenship as an English learner, why is that important? I believe that citizenship is important. Why? Because English is a global international language. You have the opportunity to speak with someone different from you. Citizenship allows you to explore and understand different cultures, different ways of learning, different way that English is pronounced. And yes, to hear that trigger word as you say, accent. So citizenship, are you a citizen of the world? Are you a citizen with respect to learning the diversity of English? So that's one of the C's. And the last C, what is the last C? I love this C. Critical thinking. What is critical thinking? When you think of critical thinking, I want you to think of, to think about something deeply, to reflect, to have an insight. Critical thinking is one of the most important skills in life and certainly when learning English. And as it relates to critical thinking, to improve your critical thinking in English, I want to give you two suggestions. Suggestion number one, ask questions. There is nothing the matter with asking questions when you're attempting to learn English and accomplish your goals. Asking questions is vital to the learning process. And the second suggestion to improve your critical thinking is, is to think about basic assumptions that you make as it relates to English. Question them, analyze them. What do I mean by basic assumptions? Well, some people think that you only can learn English one way. Some people think that, oh, not only can you only learn English one way, but one particular method, one particular sound. So questioning basic assumptions of learning English is important. Another basic assumption that you can question, your approach to learning grammar. Question how you thought and how you approach the English language. So asking questions and also getting rid of basic assumptions of as you think that the English language should be learned or can be learned will help you to improve and think critically. So there you have it, the two additional C's. Thinking critically and citizenship. Now, if you like, or I'm asking you politely, in the comment section, let me know what are you doing to think critically and as it relates to citizenship. Let me know in the comment section. Click on that subscribe button. Welcome to the ATW family. Because this is the place where what? This is the place, I believe, where you and I, we learn together. How do we learn? Motivation, inspiration through English. 
and recognize and realize that that motivation, inspiration, it starts with you.